So let's talk about what happens when you block the narcissist. And should you block a narcissist? When you block a narcissist, they're going to have a reaction. They're not going to take it lightly and they're not going to be like, oh, it's for their own well-being. They need to do this. I understand. Okay. A narcissist is most likely going to have some form of reaction of feeling insulted, feeling like, how could you do that to them? They will displace their feelings of rejection and abandonment with feelings of insult, feelings of criticism towards you, and outright rage sometimes. So I know that we tell people to block a narcissist a lot in order to get through the trauma bonding. And yes, that can help you. Sometimes with certain narcissists, it can backfire. So you have to know the person that you were dealing with and you have to be willing to experiment with this to see what works for your particular situation. And it helps to know the things that could happen because if they're the type of person and the type of narcissist that will do these things, sometimes the solution is not to block them but to put them on silence so you do not have to read what they say and you do not have to reply to them but the messages are not coming up on some way where they are noticing that they are blocked. It be a tricky situation because not replying is important, not engaging is important and it sometimes does take blocking in order to help yourself recover from the trauma bonded feelings of being with a narcissist. It is one of those things where you're going to have to do what works best for your situation in life. Okay. So sometimes a narcissistic person will have the reaction of smearing you after you block them. They will go around talking about how crazy you are, how toxic you are, whatever it is. They'll even flip the script so that you're the toxic one, right? And they'll do this to other people so that they maintain the mask that they want the other people to see them as. What they're gonna do next is seek new supply if they don't already have new supply right now. So in order to make sure that new supply doesn't hear through friends or if they have mutual friends that they caused a problem so bad that you had to block them, they will preload the narrative that you're crazy to protect themselves. Sometimes they will rage when you block them. It will infuriate them. And so this is when you have to be careful. And no, I, I speak to a lot of people with coaching where they simply know that they cannot block the narcissist because if they do, the rage will happen and then things get dangerous and out of hand. So please, when you're taking advice on how to do things, know the situation you're in, you know the person that you are with and how they respond to things, right? So stay safe in these situations when you are considering blocking a narcissist. Another thing that could happen, and this is one where I say go ahead and block, right, is the Hoover. If they're the type that is more likely that instead of raging, they will fall on their knee and apologize and beg for forgiveness and talk about the next thing I'm going to say, which is future faking, which means promising a tomorrow that will never come, right? A beautiful brand new version of themselves. If they're that type of narcissistic person and that's the way that they behave, the block might be a good idea because you don't need to be seeing all of that because all of that is a lie. All of that is just them trying to manipulate you back so they can maintain their supply in their life. Sometimes the narcissist will expect you to chase them when you block them. I know that sounds kind of strange, but what they'll do is start sending in people you know, friends and family, flying monkeys, right? To make sure you have a little tiny bits of information that spark your interest about them. And they'll use the Hoover in that way to get you to chase them and unblock them. Sometimes they will completely deny the significance that you had in their life. They will erase you. They will, to other people, make it seem like you really didn't matter. It's that arrogant, it's that smug, and it is that shut down of any real emotion that they would do that to protect their ego rather than just saying, yeah, I had a breakup right? That's how far a narcissist will go to protect their precious mask. Sometimes they will, I talked a bit about smearing, but they will try to destroy your reputation because they're that petty and that childish. And basically, if, if I can't have you, I'm going to make everyone not like you, you know, that type of thing where 
it's kind of like a smear. It's similar to a smear, but it's more, it's less going out there and actively smearing you, creating smear campaigns, spreading word everywhere. And it's more like incidental when it happens. They come across someone, so they say, oh, you know, did you know this about that person? Anything to make you seem lesser than or make you seem like you're toxic or make you seem like you're crazy, right? So the last thing I'm gonna say here is sometimes when you block a narcissist, they will stalk you. And that is where it can get dangerous as well. So be careful if you know that they're the type of person who would do that. If they have multiple protective orders out against them from exes in the past, if they are a person who would actively stalk someone, know what you're dealing with here. That might be a time to get some help from a domestic violence shelter or somewhere that can help you navigate through that part in a safe way, okay? And if you need help with anything else, anything related to this, if this is going on for you in your life and you want someone to talk to, you can check out the information for coaching, group coaching, and peer support in the main description of every video. You guys hit the thumbs up, hit the like. Watch the next video coming up for more help on healing from these toxic relationships. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.